Our first step is to take these three component functions and rewrite them in a vector function form. So we're going to say r of t, or the vector, we'll put a little vector symbol above r, is equal to, we simply put our x component function followed by the y component function, and we're going to rewrite the square root of t as t to the power of 1 half, and then the z component function. Now we've made a little sketch here just to kind of give us a flavor of what's going on. We have a point given to us in the question. It has coordinates 2, 4, 1. And in order for us to find the parametric equations for the tangent line, we're going to have to calculate the derivative of our vector function that we just wrote out. So in other words, we're going to need r prime of t. So we'll make a little space here and we're going to compute the derivative of our vector function. And to do that, you just take the derivative of the individual components. So we have t squared plus 1 for the x component. The derivative of that function, of course, is 2t. Here, we're going to continue using a power rule, multiply 1 half by 4, and then subtract 1 from the power. And then here, we have an exponential function. So in this case, to do the derivative, you basically recopy the exponential function, and then you multiply by the derivative of that power. So the derivative of t squared minus t is 2t minus 1. So we're going to be using this to figure out the tangent vector, which is what this red vector symbolizes in just a moment. But notice before you can figure out the tangent vector, you need to figure out what the value of t is. And that will be obtained by considering the point again. We have the point 2, 4, 1. And so what we do is we select either the x, y, or z value of that point and then equate it to either the x, y, or z function. So perhaps the easiest thing to do here would be to take the 4 for the y value of that point and set it equal to the equation for the y value. So you would just do 4 root t is equal to 4. Divide both sides by 4. You have root t is equal to 1. And then square both sides, and you see that t is equal to 1. So what this means, at the point 2, 4, 1, the value of t is equal to 1. So what we're going to do next to get our red tangent vector is take our tangent function here, our tangent vector function. We should actually have called that r prime of t. Some of you probably noticed that since we did the derivative. And then we're going to plug in 1 for t. So we can actually back up and just plug in 1 right here. And so we're going to be plugging 1. So we have 2 multiplied by 1 for the x component. And then we have 2 times 1 to the power of negative 1 half. And then here, this will be fun, we're going to have e to the 1 squared minus 1 times the quantity 2 times 1 minus 1. So let's just simplify this. So we have our tangent vector. We're going to have the tangent vector x component is just 2. We have y component of 2 as well. Over here, we have e to the power of 0, which is 1. And then that's multiplied by 2 minus 1, which is also 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. So this is our tangent vector. And once we have our tangent vector, as well as our point, which was again 2, 4, 1, we are able to come up with the parametric equations of that tangent line. So let's look at parametric equations right here. You probably learned this in a previous chapter. To create parametric equations, you simply need two bits of information. You need the coordinates of the point, symbolized by what we just highlighted there, and we have that here. So our x naught is going to be 2, y naught is 4, and z naught is 1. And then we also need the so-called direction vector, and that is given by the values a, b, and c. Now, we already have that. We have the tangent vector right here that we calculated. That tangent vector is the direction vector of this line. So if you go back and look at that picture, that simplistic version right here, the direction of that tangent vector right there would be the direction vector of the line. So in other words, the line is traveling in the same direction as that tangent vector. And so we can just take this vector and plug in 2 for a, 2 for b, and 2 for c. So here we go. We're going to plug in all the known values. We have x is equal to 2 plus 2t, y was equal to 4 plus 2t, and finally z is equal to 1 plus 1t, or just 1 plus t. So this is the correct answer to the question. These are the parametric equations 
for the tangent line at that given point. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I'd greatly appreciate it, but please, of course, do not feel obligated to do so.